Hi everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on. Um, today I have a little bit of a treat, not only for you, for myself as well. Um, I actually had to run out to Dollar Tree to get one thing, four of the one thing, but just one thing. Um, so I had to run to the Dollar Tree so I could get my neighbor gifts done um, for Christmas. And while I was there, of course, I could not just pick up the one thing I needed. And I had my toddler with me, so I wasn't able to look around too much. Um, and it was crazy, this being Christmas week. But I did see a couple things that caught my eye, and I went ahead and picked them up. And I just wanted to share those with you. Um, so we'll just go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to share the thing that I actually went to Dollar Tree for last so that will be the last thing that i show you guys and i just think it's funny um what actually i went for and what i found i think that i found so much good stuff today and like i said i wasn't even able to like look around that much because i had my toddler and i was in a hurry i was just running in and out um but like so many things just kept like jumping out at me and I found so many things that I haven't been able to either find at my Dollar Tree locally or I just haven't seen, um, which I'll be the first to be the first to admit I don't get into Dollar Tree probably as much as I would like to. Um, but I just found some really cute things that I thought it would be cool to share with you guys. I'm also going to show you what I will be doing for my neighbor gifts. Um, I have four of those that I need to get done tonight so that I could get those out tomorrow and then I think that'll be just about it I'll show you guys that and then I will probably show you how I'm gonna put one together um, and I might make another video on how I'm gonna decorate um, a part of it but we'll get we'll get into that in a minute so we'll go ahead and start with the haul start with these because I feel like everybody knows these right we've all seen these we all know these I have never been able to find one of these at my Dollar Tree, which I only ended up finding um, the one of this one that, you know, you see all the time. But I also found this one, which it's the same exact thing. It just has a different um, art piece in it. But and I love these because of the way they open. You know, you can just pop this out like a picture frame, put a nice pattern paper on it, um, put some vinyl on it. And depending on the adhesive that you use and what you decide to do with it, you could use this over and over again. I will be showing you guys a couple ideas with that. Um, I'll probably do like more like reusable kind of ideas because what I like to do with these is I like to use them for like the holidays, just for like little like shelf sitters or just little things on the walls and whatnot. So I like to just put a pattern paper in and then use something that's like holiday related for whatever holiday I'm using it for. Um, it comes with the really, really nice bead hangers. These actually all four of them that I got are like plastic wrapped and I don't want to take them off yet because I'm not going to use them yet and I want to keep them in, you know, nice. So I'm just going to leave the plastic wrap on, uh, but they just come with um, like a jute twine hanger. But they have the really, really nice, like, natural wood beads on them. And it's just such a nice frame. So I haven't seen these two. I've seen these ones from, like, other people's hauls. I haven't seen people haul these. They're basically the same frame, but they have, like, that faux wood um, finish on the frame itself instead of the white with the same bare natural wood beads. The only thing about these two is they do not open like a picture frame, right? So these, I don't know how hard it's gonna be to get the backs off of them. Um, I personally usually don't take the backs off of things. More than likely, I will just cut a piece of um, white cardstock you know, I'll measure this, I'll cut a piece of white cardstock directly to fit inside. And then depending on what I'm using it for, I'll just use some form of adhesive and I'll, you know, glue it down or tape it down and then apply my vinyl to that. So these are great. Love these. I also found this, which let me tell you, I love so, so, so much. Now, this is, I'm not sure if you can tell the size directly on camera. Um, the place that I've really seen these a lot that I love there as well is Hobby Lobby. 
which, you know, we all know Hobby Lobby, everything goes on sale, you know, every week, every other week. Um, so I don't think they're like too bad priced. Um, but I mean, this one was $1.25. And to me, I think that it's a pretty good size. Oh, it's actually, it's 10 by 10. They call it a wood bead wreath, fittingly. Um, but I just think, how pretty is that? You could stain these. I prefer, um, you know, a lighter wood look. Um, but I just think it's really pretty to like put some florals um, and then, you know, use it as a wreath. I think there's a lot of things you could do with it. And honestly, it was just the first time I've seen it at the Dollar Tree. And I love the big, huge ones at Hobby Lobby. I just haven't brought myself to um, buy one yet. So I figured I'd start with this small one and see what I can do with it and see how I like it. Next up, really quickly, um, three of these stockings. I thought they were super cute. They're kind of neutral Christmas stockings. Um, I don't, we don't really do stockings. Um, so they're kind of more for looks than they are necessity. Um, but I thought it would be nice to put the names here and just kind of hang them up. We don't have a fireplace because we live in Florida. Um, but I thought it would just be nice to put the initials and kind of hang them up. And they're a nice neutral, which I, um, I appreciate that. So then I just got one for me and my daughter, and then I got my husband a black one. I thought it would be cute for daddy just to have something just a little different, um, but I'll do the same thing. I'll just put his name on the top there, um, and I thought those were really cute. Next we have, this is just four of the um, magnetic bookmarks. So they're just the ones that go like over the page. Um, these are just something that I needed and I literally, last time I went to Target, I like tried to find some and they had a four pack and it was like $5. And I was like, oh, I feel like that's kind of expensive for magnets. So I'm glad that I decided to hold off and not get the ones from Target because today I found these at Dollar Tree. The colors that I've kind of noticed Dollar Tree's kind of going in, um, I'm assuming for spring, which I love. I am a pastel lover, so I am here for it. Um, on that same note, I just picked up a six pack of magnet. Noticed a lot of strawberry things, which I think these are super cute. So I just picked those up for my little bulletin board. I told you guys next time I went to Dollar Tree, I would be picking up more of these and I absolutely could not walk out without them. I picked up three of the Crafter Square adhesive cutting mats. These are the standard grip mats um for the Cricut Joy but I used these when I was in a pickle when I filmed like my second video that I ever made and my mat would not stick so I had one of these sitting around so I decided to pull it out because I was like well I need a mat I like just committed to making this video and I was so pleasantly surprised and I've used it since and I picked up three more on my trip today I got this thing this is a, just a pin holder, and I hope, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to spin, but it does. So it does spin. So this is just kind of a normal everyday kind of thing. I don't, I'm pretty sure I've seen these in the Dollar Tree before, but this was just more of like a practical use. I just needed another place to store a few things. So that will just go right there. Last but not last is this sweet 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 little jewelry holder probably more like a trinket tray i guess you would say look at oh my goodness look at this thing it is obviously a heart it is the softest softest pink and it is so so pretty it has a sweet 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 little heart clasp and then it just opens up and it's like actually pretty deep, nice little um, trinket tray. So it just, <laughs> it just says box on it. So there you go. Um, but this is so cute. And I actually picked this up because I figured it would make a nice blank for a nice gift. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm probably going to monogram it and I'm probably going to set it on my desk because it is just exactly everything I love. So... That is just gonna live there for now. Actually, I'm gonna move this out of the way because I just really, really, really like this heart and I just want it 
in my shop. So now last but not least, because it is the thing that I went to Dollar Tree for, ta-da! Four chocolate chip cookie mixes. And I needed these for, like I said, my neighbor gifts, um, which hopefully I'll get out tomorrow. But I picked these up because my idea for neighbor gifts was I got these jars. I have four of them. It's just called Canning Jar, also from the Dollar Tree. Um, I got these a few months ago. I'm not sure when, but I feel like they have them all the time. Um, but they just unscrew. It has the little lid. You know, it's just a jar. Um, so my idea was to take the jar and picked up the cutest little cookie cutter, which is a heart. It's pink from Target for a dollar. And I also picked up this Christmas spatula, also from Target for a dollar. So I got four spatulas, four cookie cutters, four jars, and then today I got the four cookie mixes. So I was thinking of obviously putting the cookie mixes into the jars and then just tying these like together with some twine um, and then attaching this with some twine to the jar. I'm also more than likely going to put some snowflakes or some type of, you know, Christmas sentiment or something on the jar. Something is definitely going on the jar. You guys know if you have a Cricut, this jar is not gonna go out of my house looking like this. I can promise you that. I also have for my neighbor who is right next door, um, you know, I know her a little better than I know my other neighbors. Um, so I made her a mug that I will also put with her package. And it just says Marion Bright. Mug is also from the Dollar Tree. I think it is so cute. And then I just made a little tag here that says, you know, the washing instructions, just so she knows. Um, and I'll just put that in there so she's aware. Um, that, you know, it's not supposed to go in the dishwasher. It's not supposed to go in the microwave. And then quickly, just while we're here, I'll go ahead and show you guys. I also made our Christmas cards um, that I will be giving to the neighbor. I'm just covering here because it has our name on it. Um, but I just put our family name, 2022, Merry Christmas, and a Happy Always. And then it's like a watercolor um, nutcracker type scene and I just thought it came out super super cute that's all I have for you today I just wanted to very quickly show you guys what I was going to do for my neighbor gifts um, which tied me in of course to the haul because I went to go get this and I came out with the haul uh, but I just I appreciate you guys so much watching my video if there's anything specifically you'd like to see um, done on the Cricut. I will try my best to have it filmed for you guys. Thank you so much. Bye.